2013 Victory Hammer. A whole ton of upgrades. First off, probably I've got here the most noticeable thing about my bike, the best thing I think I've ever did to it, was these Renegade wheels. Warwick Phantom Cut with the matching pulley. Put a 10 inch rim on the back with a 280 tire. Looks awesome. So happy I did this. But next, Next I'm going up to the 300. And combined with the air ride too, that freaking awesome. So happy I did that, spent the extra on the air ride. That's platinum air ride. And I got the side mount plate by uh, Dave Budinski, Skyfire in Industries. It's got little LED lights there that attach on the bolts. Really nice. There's the air ride compressor down at the bottom beside the uh, Arlen Ness engine covers. Put some Kur Kuraken, Kuriakin, I don't know how you pronounce that, Kur Kuraken, Kurikin, whatever. The uh, pegs on there, I think they're called Heavy Industries. No, they came in like a matte black, so I had them powder coated, gloss black. Turned out nicer. It's a 13 hammer. I put a 07 peg mounts. The 07s are a little further forward. Oh, friggin' thumb. Gosh, I suck. Anyway, yeah, the, uh, they're a little, I don't know, they're an inch and a half or an inch, inch forward from the 13. I just felt the 13 were too close. The eight ball, eight ball pegs, I guess. And that also, that uh, oil cooler cover, it's by Dave Budinski again. Skyfire Industries. It's really nice, this hammer on there. It's really dirty though, all the freaking bugs and dirt and everything coming up there. And uh, on the front, I put a 21 inch wheel matching the back. Wrap fender there that's Conquest Customs. They make nice stuff. Let's see, there's a LED headlight, I guess it's the Victory one. And there's a Lloyd's Lloyd's torque tubes under there I put in. Those things are awesome. They, what a difference they made. And beside it here my controls for the air ride. Controls the ride height. And the uh, rebound. I don't know, that's for the ride height. It's pretty noisy as hell, but it's so nice. And uh, up here, early bars, roller bars, one and three quarter inches thick. Those things are nice. Those are uh, performance machine mirrors. Uh, nest grips. I forget what they're called. Beveled or something. I don't know. Psychotic Industries levers. Pretty happy with those. Which is just chrome. I don't understand why they come from the factory. A blacked out bike called an 8-ball. They put chrome. All sorts of chrome shit on it. Like these chrome levers were chrome. Not like nice chrome either, like some sort of piece of crap thing. It's like, this is, like that's an example. I left that there, but I, I got this bezel for the speedometer on order. It's like a contrast cut or something. It's nice, looks nice online from Bad Ace. Can't wait to get that on. I took this all off, painted it, cause it was chrome. Really nice design decision there to, uh, have a blacked out bike and then have this big, huge chrome speedometer bucket on the front. That was nice. So I got rid of that thing. There's another one of the Ness engine covers down there. I had a K1000 
can't see it, of course, but that underdrive pulley by Conquest Customs put in there. It's a Bassani Road Rage 2 into 1 exhaust. What else have I done to this thing? Oh, yeah, a gas cap. Gas cap is that nest beveled again. Put these uh, fork wrap signals on. Under the back, it's also wrapped around the fender here. That's the same, same deal. It's the signals. The Vasani sounds pretty nice on this bike. Step it up. I'm done with the appearance. I like it. I was thinking of getting it painted. I don't know. Maybe one day. I think performance is next. I'd like to get some Lloyds, um, cams, or even a 117 kit or something. I don't know. that made getting bike road a million times nicer ah, I love this bike all right there it is thanks for watching